So this video is going to be for problem 9-6. Okay, so on 9-6, we're going to be graphing uh, three different um, parabolas. First one is going to be, let me do it in a color we can see better, um, is going to be f of x is equal to x squared. Okay, that's your basic parabola. Um, another one is going to be f of x is equal to negative 2x squared. So that negative 2 is a stretch. Okay, we're going to see what that does to our parabola. And we're going to do f of x is equal to negative 1 half or 0.5x squared. Now, when we're graphing this, we're always thinking about um, what a parabola is, which is x squared, we're squaring a number. So I'm going to be thinking about 0 squared. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. And let's say I go to 4 squared, which is 16. This is what is going to be forming our most basic um, parent function for, of a parabola, y equal x squared. And every other graph is going to be um, based off of that for our parabola. So let me um, get a point here. So I'm going to go to 0. 0 squared is 0. OK, I'm doing my x squared graph. I go out 1. 1 squared is 1. So I'm going to go up 1. I go out 2. 2 squared is 4. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, I'm going to go out to 3. 3 squared is 9, so I'm going to go up to 9. Um, 4 squared. 4 squared is 16, so I'm going to go up to 16. So 16. Now, um, when I do negative 1 squared, I also get a 1. Negative 2 squared, I also get a 4. Okay, so we're going to have mirror image here, so I'm going to have this one 9. And I'm going to have 16 because we have symmetry. And then I'm going to connect this. Okay, I'm just going to make it a little fainter. So I'm going to connect it up maybe a little fainter than that. And there is our parabola. And that parabola is y equal x squared, okay? So I'm just going to color code. Um, this is going to be y equal x squared. So now the next one I'm going to be doing is uh, negative 2 x squared. But I'm still going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be doing 0 squared, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. And then after that, what I'm going to be doing is times it by the stretch. So again, let me just jot down. I'm doing y is equal to negative 2x squared. So I'm going to square all my x's and then times it by negative 2. Okay, so um, 0 squared is 0 times it by negative 2, 0. Okay, let me scooch this up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go out 1. 1 squared is 1 times that by negative 2. So I'm going to go down to negative 2. I'm going to have the same on both sides. I go out to 2. 2 squared is 4. I'm going to times that by a negative 2, which is going to give me a negative 8. I'm going to go out 3. 3 squared is 9. I'm going to times that by a negative 2. And that is going to give me a negative 18. And so now I'm going to draw this parabola. Oops, let me draw that a little better. So the negative is going to flip it, and the 2 is going to make it skinnier than the original parabola. Now, um, the next one I'm going to do, y is equal to, y is equal to, Um, negative 0 0.5 x squared or negative a half. So for this one, okay, again, I'm going to go to 0. 0 squared is 0. 
times that by a negative 0.5, I still get zero, okay? A stretch never affects the vertex. Um, as I go out one, one squared is one, times that by a negative one half, I'm gonna be at a negative 0.5. See, it's, it's going to be not as far away as this one is. I'm gonna go out two, two squared is four. I'm gonna times that by a negative, a half. So half of negative four is negative two. I'm gonna go out um, to three, three squared is nine. I'm gonna multiply that nine by a negative um, a half. And that's gonna give me a negative 4.5 because half of nine is 4.5. So one, two, three, four, and a half. I'm gonna go out four, four squared is 16. Half of 16 is eight. So I'm gonna go down to a negative eight. If I go out to five, five squared is 25. Half of 25 is gonna be 12.5. So it's gonna be a negative 12.5. So a negative 12 and a half. Um, if I go out six, six squared is 36. Half of 36 is 18. So it's gonna be a negative 18. And then I'm gonna connect that. And you can see again, the negative is going to make it um, open down. And the one half is going to make it wider. Okay, so does what does a negative uh, coefficient of x squared do to the graph? So a negative coefficient of x squared is going to flip the graph across the, well, it's gonna flip the graph is what it's gonna do across the x-axis in this case, but uh, across um, the line that the vertex is on because so it's gonna flip the graph. It's going to make it open down. That's what it does. And that's the end of this video.